Let's talk a little bit about your weather as we head into this evening. Still under that level one threat, so that's a marginal threat. Any severe storms that we see, heavy rainfall, damaging wind gusts, isolated hail, but losing the chances for that to even occur. They still have a few stronger storms up towards the Macon area. We don't have as much energy in the atmosphere as they have, so really what I'm going to be looking for the rest of this evening is just a few scattered showers as that little cluster pushes its way across. Should make it here to Savannah as we get closer to that midnight time frame during that time temperatures drop down into the lower 70s by tomorrow morning. If you have those early morning plants, it's going to be mid to lower 60s out there. Not going to be too bad. A little bit of a mild morning, but as we go through the day, the mostly cloudy sky is still going to be sticking around. We'll warm into the upper 70s here in Savannah and then higher rain chances. 40 to 60% chances come back into play as we go into tomorrow evening. Not looking at a lot of severity with those chances, but we will have that cold front lingering in the area and that's going to split our temperatures. Lower 70s for most of our areas north of I-16, upper 70s for anywhere south of that and could even see a few lower 80s as you push your way farther down south towards the Waycross area. But if you're going to be headed out to the final round of the Heritage tomorrow, be on the lookout with that radar as we head into the afternoon. Pop up storm chances is what we are tracking because pretty much as that front pushes through, once it makes it through an area, it'll add a little bit of extra lift. So especially as we get into that early afternoon, could see a few stronger storms popping up, especially out on the golf course and closer to our coastal areas. The cluster of showers doesn't come in until we get into the later part of the day. The worst of it will push through Savannah as we get in between that five to probably eight or nine o'clock time frame, and then everything starts to dry back out. We've got high pressure that's going to be working its way back in as we head into the start of next week. It's going to lead to a cooler start to the work week, but we should see more sunny conditions all because this is out there and temperatures going to warm up quickly. Lower 60s Monday, lower 80s by Wednesday. We have this next system. It's going to be diving into the area, but since we'll have all of that moisture uh, pushed out of the area, we're in, it's going to be a dry system. Not going to look for a lot of rain chances. It's going to do minimal effects to our temperatures. Maybe just cool us back down into those upper 70s, but when it comes to our muggy meter this week, still going to be very sticky. If you have any outdoor plans tomorrow by the start of the week, if you want to run, if you want to walk the dog during the afternoon, not going to feel too bad for it. We'll get more of that humidity as we head into the second half of the week, and that's when those temperatures will start to warm back up again. Small little bit of a roller coaster with our temperatures. Upper 60s Monday, lower 80s Wednesday, back into the upper 70s as we head into the second half of the week, and then lower to mid 80s heading into next weekend. Not looking at any more severe weather chances during this time frame, but we'll continue to keep you informed.